Hey Minecrafters, welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play series. And what are we going to do today? Well, today we are going to make that village breeder I was talking about. And on the ground here, I have it outlined where I want to place my doors and stuff. Basically, this village breeder is going to be have one middle cell of 3x3, three three, 9 doors, and then the outer cell is going to be 9x9x9x9, nine by nine by nine by nine, which would make that an additional... Uh, however many doors that is because I'm terrible at math so anyways I have the exact number of doors I pre-made them they're in this double chest here and this is the exact number of doors you need for this build if you wanted to build a villa breeding cell like this on your map uh, this is eventually going to be replaced with wood too but I left it dirt just so I could uh, easier easy, more easily find where I need to place my doors basically uh, so let's get right into it here. I also uh, adjusted the sound a little bit again. I found which option controls the doors. So as you notice, it's much lower now. Because these villagers like to open and close doors repeatedly, which is kind of annoying. Anyways, let's, let's see. We're going to put our doors down, and when you're doing this, uh, start from the inside of the inner cell. So don't place them from the outside. Place them from the inside. It makes it easier. So we're going to put one here. No, that, that's wrong. Uh, just pretend I didn't do that. Okay, there. Three, and then... Wag two and three and then two and three and then one two and three and then you just want to throw a torch in here right in the middle and that's plenty of light now on this outer ring oh lag spike again uh, I'm going to build up the corners first. So this is going to be three and what the man, it's getting dark. I think a Minecraft day is only 20 minutes. Well, 20 minutes sure goes by fast because it seems like I have to sleep all the bloody time. Very well, let's go. Go sleep the game assist because I don't want to deal with mobs I don't think uh, we're in any real danger anyways I got everything fenced off now but still yeah you know, I'd rather not take any chances at least until I can get my village breeding cell up and running and then I'll have plenty of villagers and then it won't matter as much because I'll have iron golems in here and they can help defend my oh you like that building already I haven't even built it Look at this guy. He he wants in already. Hey, as soon as I put, uh, as soon as I get this got this built in my single player map, they just swarmed over it. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping you know that the same thing will happen here. I'm just gonna put the basic frame in place first, and then I'll put the doors down. No, 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 no. That's wrong. I hate it when I place blocks incorrectly. Alright. There we go. And since I know where the doors are going to go, I'm just going to go ahead and knock out this floor. Because I don't want to try to knock the floor out with a bunch of villagers here. And I don't think they'll actually come over here and type put a roof on it. Doesn't matter. I probably shouldn't put the roof on until I get the doors all in place. It's very difficult trying to place doors with villagers running around. Pretty sure I brought enough wood with me. If not, I can go retrieve more. Uh, 
Uh, fudge. No, I probably still don't have enough wood. Because I gotta put the roof on. Alright, so that's basic, the basic design, and then we're just going to have doors all along all these other sides. So I'm going to put those in now. Alright, I suppose that's okay. There we go. It's looking good. Yep, that looks identical to the one I have on my other map. I don't know if it was very slot. It's a shy one. Alright, well we're gonna put one more door down and then I'm gonna go I'm gonna go pull that other door. Alright, there we go. I like this design because it's very basic, uh, does not require much resources, mostly just wood. So you can pretty much build this at any point in your map, even the very beginning, like this map is pretty much still at the very beginning. And then, of course, I, I won't be able to trade with these villagers anytime soon because I don't have anything, you know, really to trade with them, unless I can get, uh, find a good trade, you know, like, uh... Like maybe one of them wants wheat or something, and then I can start getting some emeralds that way. I'm eventually gonna want to make some kind of uh, trading. What? I swear I made enough doors. What the? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What the heck? I swear I made enough doors. Did I miscount my doors? Apparently I did. Okay, I need one more door. Alright. Whatever. Last door. There we go. So that's that. And... You're going to want to light this up really well, so you don't want anything spawning in there. But I want to go back. I, I need more wood. I need more torches. And I made extra torches already. I'm just going to make one of these logs. There we go. I don't need all that wood, but... Uh, I don't need that much wood. Let's put another stack back. Alright, let's get a roof on this thing, and let's get this thing going. As soon as I start roofing this thing, uh, villagers will probably run over here. Anyways, I hope villagers start running over here. Pretty much, just all you do is just put a roof on it. That will make this a valid, make all these doors valid. They're not really valid unless they have a roof over them. So, once they become valid doors, then the villagers will come over here, I think. <laughs> uh, is that all? Nope, almost done. Uh, can't remember if it requires torches to make the doors valid or not. But I'm gonna put them. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. One, two, one, two, and 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 one, two
I like everything evenly spaced out. There we go, perfect. Now I'm gonna light this up really well out here. Pretty much I'm just gonna spam a torch above every door. Okay, what did I just fall into? Whatever. Come on, villagers, get over here and start breeding. Anybody in here yet? In my other map, they, they really like this building, and so eventually they'll all migrate over here. It might take them a while to start breeding, but we should see some breeding action starting soon. Let's see. Well, geez, get the hell out of my way. I'm trying to get in here. Do you guys need privacy to breed? Oh, they're already breeding. Look at that. It's a baby villager. But they still like this house. Well, I don't really care, I guess, as long as they're breeding. But yes, they are breeding because that's a baby. I should have built this. <laughs> I should have built this further over here, I guess, instead of right there. A little too close to there. Uh, I need to put some more torches down here. You want the area around your village breeder very well lit. Because all I need is a horde of zombies to be, you know, spawn right near my village breeder. I, I don't know, but apparently they, I guess they think this house here is their main house. So, because they're all still conjugating around here. Oh, look, hearts. They're starting to breed again. Let's move in here and see if I can encourage them to come over here. I wonder if that's the center of the village. Hmm. Cause I don't know where the center of this village is. Is it turning night again already? Really? Night again already? Let me go check. Yep, it's almost night time again. Yeah, and as you were seeing, uh... I put these signs around, span into a lookout. So this is gonna be a lookout tower here. I'm gonna expand it like over here more, make it a lookout tower. And this I wanna replace. I'm thinking upgraded with different blocks, but I don't know if I should make a wooden well. So wells probably should be cobble, I guess. But this gravel needs to go. Why don't I work on that right now? Why we wait for the villages to breed? I'm thinking just put a bunch of stairs around it. Let me go make some stairs. Well, I'll sleep too. Because I want to get this uh, village all purdied up, so to speak. Get it all looking good. Oh, lag spike. Uh, let's see. Make some stairs. There we go. Let's see how this looks. I'm just going to surround this with stairs. Ooh, another baby villager. That's pretty good. Let's see if they've moved in over here yet. Or, uh, 
Well, not really so far. Nobody's actually in the village breeder itself. They're still all over in this door. Wow, they really like this building. So I must assume that this is... That they view this as their main building, I guess. Oh, are you going to go in? Yeah, sure, go in. Go in, buddy. Here, let me help you out. Get your ass in there. Whatever, whatever. I should make a second door in here since they like this building so much. I don't think you're all going to fit inside there. Yeah, there you go. Go inside there. Uh -huh. ah, there's a little baby villager right here. Yeah, they're breeding like crazy. Wow. Alright, we can take this down. I'm just going to go around uh, for the rest of this episode and probably just do some more upgrading and I gotta figure out what I want to do with this path here. I don't want the gravel here anymore, so we're gonna pull the gravel. I may, I may have actually uh, speed up some of this renovations. Uh, you know, so you, you guys don't get bored. Put a little music on. Hopefully I remember to put the music on this time. So I realized, I think it was episode... What episode was it? I don't remember exactly what episode, but one of the episodes I did a speed up. It might have been... We'll say maybe episode 3. That I actually forgot to put the music in. And I had already posted the video before I realized that. So I couldn't, you know, do anything about it. And then I checked video 4 and... I realized I made the same error, and so, but I was able to go back and fix that one. I just re-edited it and uh, put the music in. I wonder if I should lower this ground here. Maybe I'll take out some of this. I gotta think of an alternative lighting source. Uh, some some better lighting too. I'm just going to do a little bit of mowing here. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is, if I'm here, at this point on, I'm just going to uh, speed up the clip. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some music on. hope you guys enjoy it.
I'm back. All right. I did. I did uh, quite a bit of things during that speed up. Uh, I also did some stuff off camera and some stuff out of order. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to spend quite a bit of time in editing. I'm afraid. Uh, of course, you guys won't be able to tell that uh, because uh, by the time you're watching this, it'll all be edited. Anyways, uh, one thing I did off camera was I did expand my farm. As you can see, it's now all grown again. It looks so pretty. Wheat, carrot, potato, potato, carrot, wheat. And I just duplicated the exact same thing. And actually, my second farm here is also fully grown. I also added a sugarcane farm here at the end. And I'm going to go harvest this now. Because I didn't have enough sugarcane to actually plant it all. Another uh, funny tidbit is I made half of this farm dirt and half of this farm sand. There's been some speculation that sand works better than dirt on sugar cane. However, they really grow the same on either. But, you know, just for fun, I thought I would do my own test here and see just which one is actually going to grow faster. But we'll see, we'll see. Alright. So I'm very happy with the way this farm has turned out thus far. Oh, I also did one more thing to this farm off camera. Uh, I added a storage room. Uh, it's not over here, but over here, it's, it's underneath this farm. You just come come down here, uh, open up the store, and voila, storage. It's pretty much all it is. It's just storage space for the farm. Double chest. Uh, let's see, we got seeds, potatoes, potatoes, carrots, carrots, and lastly, we've got sugar cane. But of course, I have no sugar cane in there right now. You can see here, I got quite a few seeds, decent amount of potatoes, oh, that's empty. Uh, I got more carrots than I got potatoes. I'm thinking that the carrots yield more than the potatoes, but I'm not for sure. Oh, look, it's nighttime again. So, I like this farm, it's pretty cool, nice big farm. It looks really cool when it's fully grown. Uh, I made this house. Well, uh, it's actually it was two sm small, two smaller houses. I just merged them into one big house. Got a crafting table, a little table here. Uh, I got a bed and a stove. And I got a few more buildings to see which one. Oh, I, I marked this one for destruction. So I'll just wipe that one out. This one I put expand bigger but I don't know it's like right up butt tight to this church I may actually just destroy it because I really don't need it uh, and this one here expand into a lookout tower that one I will expand into a lookout tower and this one down here oh did I never replant these trees whoops and I think I lost some saplings they all despawned yeah my bad uh, this is actually cobblestone storage in here. I just converted it into cobblestone storage. It was a small little house too. I expanded it and now it's that's what it's going to be used for. Well, I'm going to get some more saplings and then I'm going to sleep. One side effect of this farm I'm utilizing is I get less saplings back from it and then it's even worse if I wander away and forget to pick them up and then they all despawn. Uh, usually I get enough saplings returned that I can replant it uh, occasionally like this time I lost most of the saplings so now I had to go get more. What's that over there? That looks like a witch. Oh, 
I brought something with me in case I fight a witch and they decide to poison me. Is it a witch? I think it's a witch. They haven't seen me. Oh, the witch has seen me. Uh. Oh, great. Well, let's go drink my milk. There we go. Ha 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 ha. Sucker witch. See that? That's it gets milk gets rid of all status elements. So if they poison you, you can drink it and get rid of the poison. But now I don't have any milk, so uh, I gotta go milk another cow. Oh, there's a creeper up there too. And a skelly and a creeper and Well, there's cows out there, but it's not really safe to go out there. This sucks. I wanted to kill that witch. Oh well, I'll just go kill it without the milk. Come here, my friendly witch. Or I should say, unfriendly witch. I wonder if Iron Golems will battle witches. I don't know. Hmm. Take that, you ugly witch. Let's see what he dropped me. Glass bottle and gunpowder. I don't need this chest here anymore. Did I make a fence post? I thought I had some fence posts left. I want to make another door. I like these doors. Are uh, these these entrances to this area that the mobs cannot come through? Yeah, 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 I see you. Jeez. I'm trying to place a fence post here. Can you see? Or is that creeper again? Let's go, uh, let's go milk a cow. I like to carry milk around on me now. In case I get poisoned. You just go up to a cow and right click it and voila! I now have milk. You can drink the milk. I don't think it restores any health, though. Nah, it doesn't restore any health. All it does is uh, get rid of status elements such as poison and slow and anything else. It also gets rid of good status elements, though, like say if you had speed or haste on or something like that, or if you had uh, what's the other one, uh, like power potion or something. It would get rid of all of those too. More lava, huh? Wow. Now what's over here? Hmm, squiddy in there. Oh, oh, yeah, why don't I just walk right in there? That would be just awesome. What's this, a cave? It doesn't look like a cave. It's like a little hole in the ground. But I could use the coal, so I'll... I'm also get this coal real quick. And then, I guess I'll call it an episode. I don't know how long this episode is, but I think it's pretty long. Get into the fact that I, I did the uh, quite a bit of recording with the speed up. And everything so next episode I'll probably continue working on the village and once I get that all squared away I'll probably do a strip mine or something along those lines because I really need to get some redstone and some stuff like that so I can't really do any any you know advanced building without those materials So, I guess that's it. Well, until next time, folks. Adios.